Ooh, hang on, owl. Perfect timing, jeesh. Good evening, my friends. I'm about a mile and a half into today's hike into the woods, and I haven't found anything yet. Uh, apparently, other than this giant bear poo that I just stumbled upon. Look at that. That's the real deal. That bear has been eating a lot of berries this fall. Uh, but anyway, here I am. It's been about a month since I've been out in the woods trying to make a vlog. Mostly because I have been out with clients um, doing workshops here in the Tetons. And I have been out a couple of times on my own, um, but it's been such limited time that I haven't uh, been able to focus on video. I've really just been focusing on making some nice still images. So anyway, I'm out here today on a little mission to find anything cool. Black bears eating berries would be fun. Owls are always my favorite thing to find. Uh, there should be some elk back in here. Uh, we could run into all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to keep cruising around here. But um, hey, welcome back. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope I find something good for you today to make a fun and interesting vlog. So, I'm in, I'm in a good spot here. It's a beautiful day in October. Too beautiful, honestly. Uh, it's like 65 degrees and sunny every day the next week. And uh, it's not supposed to be that nice. But it is lovely to be out here hiking in this beautiful weather. I would honestly prefer some stormy stuff rolling through. But what I've got is pretty nice. So anyway, here I am. Just kind of hoping something in these woods feels like being photographed today. And I'll do my best to make beautiful photos of whatever that turns out to be. So thanks for following along. I'll let you know in a little bit, hopefully with some good news that I found something worth photographing out here. Haven't found that yet. Little black bear just caught a whiff of me. I don't think he saw me though. He just kind of, he was eating berries and he kind of put his nose up in the air and then ran. And I just got a couple of seconds of video of him running away. Uh, so I'm not going to follow him. He uh, clearly didn't want to be around me today. He was on the berries and sometimes when you find them on the berries they'll just stay there because they're so interested in the berries but not this guy so i'll let him be but that was cool saw my first critter out here first interesting critter that is and uh now i'm back to it to look for more interesting critters a bear. I can see the bush moving, but I don't see the bear yet. I'm going to try and get some video of it before it sees me and runs away. See that bush moving? 
It's going to be really hard to see that from here. But I'll try and get some footage of him before he runs off. The bear hasn't seen me yet. But I also have no good photos. It's all just through the thick bushes. So I'm going to move around a little bit. He'll probably see me at some point and run off, but I'm going to try. Maybe he'll stick around on that berry bush. This is fun. All right, that bear's on the move. See, I think he just finished with that bush, but I did a pretty good job of not getting seen or smelled. Um, now he's just walking away through the forest over there. So I was just hoping maybe he'd go find a new bush that was better photographically. So I'm gonna watch him for a minute, but this is super fun. I've been watching him for like 15, 20 minutes, just eating berries. Just so fun. Beautiful, big, fat, cinnamon color black bear. Getting loads of berries. Just as many calories as possible before heading to the den in the next month or so. So, I don't know, I lost him. He's way out there in the forest, like probably 150 yards away. Um, so this is probably over. I'll continue my search for owls or a bear in a better photographic situation. But that's super fun with the bears. Cool. So I'm still, I'm watching this bear. Um, I know I'm gonna get tons of comments uh, about bear safety and telling me that I'm an idiot for being out here with a bear and all that kind of stuff. So I'll just address that real quick. Uh, hopefully my talking doesn't scare the bear away. He's far enough away and it's windy enough that I think I'll be okay. Um, but if he does run off, that's fine too. That's what bears do when they see people most of the time. So, a um, couple of things. One, you got to understand, I, I do this a lot. So, uh, I'm pretty aware of my surroundings. I'm pretty aware of bears' behaviors. Uh, I'm prepared. I got bear spray right in my pocket, uh, ready to go. And I'm watching and I'm listening and I'm observing. Um, I am alone, and that's one thing you're not supposed to do in bear country, but everything's bear country here. Uh, in the Tetons, you could run into a bear anywhere. Uh, this is a black bear. If this was a grizzly, I would be long gone by now. But the black bears, especially this time of year and in this situation, the black bears are so focused on the berries that they don't care. Um, about people. They run into people. There are hikers here all over the place. The bears are used to seeing people. Uh, the bears are eating berries, which don't fight back and don't run away. Um, and so they're much more interested in berries than they are in humans. Um, they don't get hunted around here. Um, and so they're not, they don't typically view humans as a threat. Um, and it's, it's kind of a, a mixture of a bunch of things that I feel safe being out here and responsible being out here doing this. Uh, I'm giving them plenty of space. I'm showing them massive respect. And uh, like this bear doesn't even know I'm here yet. And if it does, it might have smelled me, honestly, because I didn't shower after hot yoga today. So I'm probably uh, emitting some aroma. But I'm, I'm downwind. Uh, but so it's just a bunch, a combination of things of it being a black bear, which aren't typically aggressive here. Them having plenty of food source that they're interested in. Them knowing that people are out here hiking. They run into people all the time out here. Uh, and me being reasonably uh, conscious and aware. See the bears on the move. I will come back to this in a minute. Okay, I'm going to move the, the bears. Maybe heading for a really pretty berry bush that's kind of out in the open and is nice red, beautiful colors. So I'm gonna kind of go down here and just see if I get lucky with that bear hitting this bush. Yeah, 
and I think I'll wait. But so to finish my uh, to finish my thought there, you know, the other part of that deal is being out here with bears is this is just an inherently risky thing to do to be out here in the woods hiking around. Um, you know, I could trip and break my ankle. I could run into the occasional uh, maniacal black bear out here that's aggressive. Um, very unlikely. You know, I could run into a mountain lion out here that was aggressive. Very, very, very unlikely. And the list goes on and on and on. I could get a tick, tick that bites me. You know, it's just an inherently risky situation. So uh, I recognize all that. Um, I'm doing my best to mitigate the risks out here to all of those things, including to a potential conflict with a bear. Um, but, you know, if I was worried about all the risks out here, I would never come out here. So I'm doing my best to manage those and to be smart and be aware uh, and not make mistakes that'll get me into trouble out here. I'm comfortable with this situation. Um, and uh, if you're not comfortable in this kind of a situation, then don't come out here and do this. You know, that's the bottom line is uh, know what you're doing <laughs> but and understand the risks involved in that and come out here and have a good time anyway. So uh, I don't think I've taken one photo of this bear yet. I've just taken some videos because everything I'm shooting just through the the dense, the thick bushes and stuff. So it's not really working. Ooh, that bear has made it to the bush that I was hoping he would make it to, but he's on the back side of it. So anyway, there's my thoughts on being out here in the woods with a bear. I'm going to try and make some more videos. Photography, I don't know if I'll get any photos out of this or not, but I'm going to try. Thank you for listening to me ramble about that, and feel free to give me your thoughts down below. Uh, I do read all the comments, even though I don't really have time. Ooh, he's up in the yellow stuff. I gotta go. Bye. Wow, that, that bear climbed right through the, the red bush and the yellow tree straight up into the top of that conifer, and uh, I think he's going up there to take a nap or something. He just climbed the tree, or maybe he just climbed it because it's fun for bears to climb trees, but um, that's, I think that's going to be my signal. The photography options are pretty limited with a bear up like that. So I'm going to go keep moving around, see what else I can find out here this evening. I got another eh, 40 minutes of light. And, uh, so maybe I'll get lucky with something else. This was super fun. Um, just to watch and observe a wild bear, uh, is always a real treat. And, uh, especially when I don't even think the bear knew I was here. So that was super cool. But, uh, all right, carry on. And I'll let you know, hopefully I'll find something else cool out here today. But that was pretty awesome. And that, uh, that was a good potential out there. You know, the bear wandered into that stuff. But it just didn't give me any photo ops in there. Okay. Again, I'm going to keep on keeping on out here. See what else happens. Oh, how I wish there was an owl right in this little pocket of forest. Wow. Just smoking hot light, smoking hot fall colors, aspen trees. Oh. Yeah, it was a spectacular fall day. Hey. So this the sun went down. It got dark ish. The uh, temperature is plummeting, and uh, I'm working my way back to the car. Oh, hang on, Al. Perfect timing, jeez. Uh, so I lost that owl. Um, that was one of those examples of 
have your camera ready to shoot with settings that are reasonably close to where they need to be because I just had a few seconds to make a photo there. So once I saw that owl, luckily I put the vlogging camera down and I got out and wanted to get uh, at least something in the can before it flew away because it did fly away right away. So uh, I wasn't able to vlog it, but it was a beautiful perch. So I'm glad I was able to get it, um, get some stills tonight. And then uh, it flew off and I couldn't relocate it. So that was over. That was a quickie, but that's uh, just on my way back to the car. And uh, it's, it's kind of surprising how often that happens where like I've probably walked four and a half miles. Let me look on my watch. Yeah, 4.3 miles uh, and didn't find an owl. And then in the last half a mile back towards the car, there was an owl staring right at me. So anyway, be prepared out there, have some settings ready to go in case you do have that. Uh, just very brief moment to make a photo. That might be your only opportunity like it was tonight. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here, walk back to the rest of the car, walk back the rest of the way to the car. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have prints for sale on my website, my book for sale. Um, and when uh, you guys buy those kind of things, that really helps support the channel. YouTube ad revenue is like a few hundred bucks a month. So it's a lot less than a lot of people think. Um, so it doesn't go very far. But um, when people buy prints, books, and do workshops with me, that's really how I can afford to come out and, and do these kind of things. So uh, if you're enjoying the videos, please support the channel any way you can. And I uh, appreciate you. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll come out here and do it again as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. Have a good night. See you next time. Bye-bye. Beautiful night here in Jackson Hole. Happy October, where the weather is more like early September. It's incredible. See you next time. Bye-bye.